Welcome to Too Fond of Books. My name is Janelle and in this video I want to share with you some of my favorite historical mystery series set in Jane Austen's England. So this is sort of a connection uh, for Jane Austen July. I really, really love historical mysteries and it's my favorite genre to read. And so I thought, why don't I try and find some that are set in that time period, in that Georgian and Regency um, England, uh, the world of Jane Austen and make a connection with Jane Austen July. So I've got four series to show you uh, today and I'm gonna start with this one. These are the Beau Brummel mystery series by Rosemary Stevens. Now, what I love about this series is that it's a nice short series. There's only four books in it, so you can read them, you can read them really fast. Now, Beau Brummel is a historical figure who lived uh, during the Regency. He set the standard for men's fashion of the time. And for a while, he was good friends with the Prince Regent. And uh, so there's, there was a lot, for example, of um, the fashion of cravats. Um, he kind of set the standard for how you tied your cravats and just kind of men's fashions in general. And so um, in this series, we have death on a silver tray, a tainted snuff box, a bloodied cravat, and Murder in the Pleasure Gardens. So, uh, just to give you a little taste. In Regency England, Beau Brummel stood as the uncrowned king of genteel society. Whatever he wore was the height of fashion. Wherever he went was the place to be. And the last place one would expect to find him was in the middle of a murder mystery. But then, Beau Brummel was never one to do what was expected. When the Duchess of York asks for his help, Beau Brummel cannot refuse. The cantankerous Countess of Rayburn has been fatally poisoned, and her paid companion, for whom the Duchess arranged employment, is the prime suspect. If the accusations prove true, the scandal would ruin the Duchess's good name. Brummel hastens to the Rayburn house, and it doesn't take long to realize that more than one person had motives against Lady Rayburn. And Brummel is going to find out who because if there's one thing that's never in style, it's murder. So these are the Beau Brummel Mysteries by Rosemary Stevens. Next up, we have the Rosalind Thorne series by Darcy Wilde. This is a series that currently has four books in it, but a fifth book is coming out in November in the series. So, the first book is A Useful Woman, A Purely Private Murder, and Dangerous to Know. And A Lady Compromised. So this series, um, one thing I find really interesting, this is a, a more recent series. Um, like I said, there's four books in it and the fifth one is coming out in November. That these are, apparently it says right on the back that they're inspired by the novels of Jane Austen, which I find interesting um, because when I read them, it seemed to me that the only real connection was the time period, but maybe there's other connections that I was slightly missing. But inspired by the novels of Jane Austen, this new mystery series set in 19th century London introduces a charming and resourceful the charming and resourceful Rosalind Thorne, a woman privy to the secrets of high society, including who among the ton is capable of murder. The daughter of a baronet and a minor heiress, Rosalind Thorne was nearly ruined after her father abandoned the family. To survive the on in the only world she knew, she began to manage the affairs of some of London society's most influential women, who have come to rely on her wit and discretion. So, when aristocratic wastrel Jasper Amesworth is found dead in Almax, London's most exclusive ballroom, Rosalind must use her skills and connections to uncover the killer from a list of suspects that includes Almack's powerful patronesses and her own former suitor, Devon Winterbourne, now Lord Castlemaine. Torn between her old love and a growing attraction to a compelling Bow Street runner, Rosalind must not only 
unravel the mysteries surrounding Jasper's death, but the mysteries of her own heart as well. This is a really fun series that um, that I enjoy. I, I like them all, which is why I'm uh, <laughs> sharing them with you, but yeah. Next up, we have the Sir John Fielding mystery series by Bruce Alexander. There are 11 in this series, and these um, is a series that also features a real person from history. So Sir John Fielding was a magistrate, a Bow Street magistrate in London, um, and along with his brother, they started the Bow Street Runners, which was kind of like the precursor to the Metropolitan Police. And um, uh, so yeah, so they're famous for that. He was also famous because he was blind, um, and uh, but he never let that stop him from being really good at his job. So the, the Sir John Fielding series, like I said, has 11 books in it, and the first book starts in 1768. Um, in 1768, 13-year-old Jeremy Proctor arrived in London. The city streets, bustling with gamblers, prostitutes, and thieves, were certainly no place for a boy on his own, and trouble wasted no time in finding the lad. He was falsely charged with theft and arrested. Jeremy was saved only from the wisdom and compassion of Sir John, only by the wisdom and compassion of Sir John Fielding. Fielding was a man of great reputation and for good reason. He had founded the Bow Street Runners, a police force that had reduced nighttime crime in London. He was a, as just as any magistrate in England, and, as Sir, and Sir John was universally renowned for his skills as a detective. Most impressively, he had accomplished all this without the sense of sight. But there was nothing lacking in his sense of justice, and after clearing Jeremy of the charges, Sir John and his new helper begin a career of solving crime, of solving some of London's most wicked crimes. So the first one in the series is Blind Justice, and then there is Murder in Grub Street, Watery Grave, Person or Persons Unknown, Jack, Knave, and Fool, Death of a Colonial, The Color of Death, Smuggler's Moon, An Experiment in Treason, The Price of Murder, and Rules of Engagement. So there you have it. That is the Sir John Fielding Mystery Series. Last up, we have the Captain Lacey series by Ashley Gardner. Now, Ashley Gardner is a pseudonym for Jennifer Ashley, who um, writes some Victorian era mysteries that I also really enjoy. These ones are set uh, definitely in the Regency, and Captain Lacey is a cashiered cavalier officer, Captain Gabriel Lacey of the 35th Light Dragoons, lost much on the battlefield during the Peninsular Campaign, but he still retains his innate sense of right and wrong when faced with injustice. Now this could very well be uh, one of the reasons why I like this series so much. Um, I really, I really enjoy books that are featuring, that feature people who have such a strong sense of right and wrong and who fight so hard for justice. I really, I really do like that. And so it could be why I like the character of, of Captain Lacey so much. Um, now, this series, um, I have six in this series and they were published um, in the early 2000s, I believe. Yeah, in the early 2000s. And then there was a break of about five years and then nine more were published after that, but I have never read those further nine. I just have these six. So just so you know, there are nine more. If you do really enjoy this series, then you can keep going. But the nine that I, or the six that I have are The Hanover Street Affair, A Regimental Murder, The Glass House, The Sudbury School Murders, a Body in Berkeley Square, and A Covent Garden Mystery. Now, the Hanover Square Affair. Hanover Square is one of the wealthier neighborhoods of London, certainly not an area where one would expect a riot. 
However, Captain Lacey spies a mob howling for blood before a group of cavalry men disperses them, and the leader of the rabble is felled by a bullet in the back. The wounded man, Thornton, believes his daughter was kidnapped right off the street and is being held against her will at 22 Hanover Square, occupied by one Josiah Horn. Looking into the matter, Lacey involves himself not only in the mysterious disappearance of a beautiful young woman, but also the sinister endeavors of an enigmatic crime lord and the murder of a country squire's maid. So there you have it. Those are four of my favorite historical mystery series that are set in Jane Austen's England. Now, have you read any of these series? I would love to chat with you about them in the comment section down below. Also, I would love it if you could recommend me a Regency or Georgian era historical mystery series to try. Now, the, the Rosalind Thorne series that I mentioned before by Darcy Wilde, these I've just read recently, but the other three I have not read for years. So I think I'm due a reread on all three of those series, but I'm always looking for more. So if you know of a great Georgian or Regency era historical mystery series, please uh, recommend that to me in the comment section down below. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you for another video soon. Bye.